Hello everybody, it's the whole universe, hope everything is fine, and I'm a wretched man who brings value to my own experience, and today we're gonna talk about the braiding process, because today I will go to the interview to one girl, and she will speak about this process uh, with me, we will record today today's video, and right now it is 7.42 a.m. in the morning in Russia, and I have kind of 8 minutes of preparation, and even some, some less, and I want to discuss with you what I will ask from her to do a great video. By the way, this full video you can watch uh, in 10 hours on my Russian YouTube channel if you want. And uh, let's talk about it. Uh, we can use uh, our strand of hairs, dreadlocks, also we can uh, we can create dreadlocks, we can create uh, bra braiding, braids, braids, yes, we can create braids, dreadlocks and we use what? We use our stra strand of hair, strand of hair, yes, and also ribbons, for example, colorful red one or maybe one more green or maybe it will be yellow and also one more violet and you know you should know coloristics inside of it like what's the combination permutation of uh, one one color and another for example yellow and purple they are kind of combining together and uh, also red and uh, a kind of uh, blue, 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 navy, navy, no, light, lighty blue and also pink, they are combined together too, and also in other colors, so they, we have the combinations of them, yes, it is coloristic uh, circle, we can learn it, maybe you fo found it somewhere, and in Russian we call it Sachitania Tsvitov, and we can do permutations between them, and it is interesting, and uh, what will I ask? I will ask her, let, let me know, please, about your experience, what do you do for a living, and also, how can you, how did you come to this place? Uh, where, uh, where, uh, where was you, where were you before, and where did you start your journey, and what was your first step? of this journey, what were you learning, where did you learn it, and also what's the process of making them, like what's the first phase, second, third, and also what's the stage with number one, third, second and third, where do you buy all the goods for the Brady, and where do you get all the sources for, for it, it is interesting questions that I will ask her, also I will ask her experience questions, and maybe what's the most hardest thing in it and what's uh, your favorite thing in it and it is types of questions that we can uh, ask in any type of interview and also one question will be interesting it will be like if you have an opportunity to do braiding for some famous or maybe glory person or even from someone like Shakespeare who is not alive right now who will be this person it will be a really interesting question and also will be questions for for your experience and also yes I talked about it already and what's the process what's the hygiene what's the hygiene for our hair how much should you use water when do you need a water for your hair because if you have dreadlocks they have specific morning routine and also how to sleep with them what's the what's the feeling do you feel like David Jones in in the Pirates of Caribbean or maybe you feel like like Jack Sparrow or maybe something like like this. Who are the most favorite characters maybe with dreadlocks? Who are the characters uh, maybe from from movie, you know, who are wearing these things and also maybe it, is, it will be Bob from Simpsons or maybe some of the Snoop Dogs from <laughs> some pop art things and pop uh, music, yes? And who are the music artists who use them and who are the movie actors who who use them and uh, different questions about this will be asked and I think it will be interesting. Her name is Kate Katerina and uh, I will ask today to her this question and uh, I will I will ask questions to her this this day and it will be interesting I'm so excited uh, because uh, money and I need to prepare also I should connect what should I take with myself light also batteries also camera also microphone water because need to drink water cables and also chargers lenses and tripod tripod is already in 
my cor corridor in my positions of uh, like guest room for clothes clock room and uh, wardrobes and uh, okay and uh, thank you a lot for watching this video it was not super long and uh, one person wrote to me question about the jobs in russia how can you get a job if you don't know like russian language you can find it if you are if you are english teacher yes some of the fluent and native uh, fluent people from abroad they can find a job if they have the fluent english they really can do this and it is uh, what uh, i wanted to share to you Yes, you can you can find a job if you don't know Russian language and you are English speaking person. But sometimes you need to understand a little bit of Russian, at least to write paperwork or, or something. Or you will do something translations. Uh, yes, you can kind of... Uh, always there are options to work in Russia if you are English person and you don't know Russian language. But there are not super big amount of options. If you have money, you will have a lot of options. Uh, it's true, because you need a translator near you and uh, he will translate and also officially will stand that yes, you can and also official translation of the documents, uh, they will give it to you if you have some dope, dinero and uh, other things. So, we will talk today about the braiding process, dreadlocks and also the our strands of hair and also about the ribbons uh, with our Katerina. We will talk about it and it will be amazing. So, thank you a lot for watching. Improve Sal Deli and go forward. Go forward. You know that everything depends only on you in your life and everything will be fine and everything is now fine. Go forward. Thank you.